but obviously these issues transcend the world of sport. Those who take a knee on the field are standing for me. Off the field right now, out, he's fired. The third week of the NFL season is still a learning period for a lot of teams. They're retooling what went wrong in the first two weeks and are practicing a lot. But when week three rolled around in the 2017 NFL season, football was the last thing on the minds of the players, coaches, and owners. Instead, September 24th, 2017 won't be remembered for football, but in the end, will be remembered as the week of the protest. Get that son of a bitch off the field right now. Out. He's fired. He's fired. That was a statement made by President Trump at a rally in Alabama over the NFL players protesting the national anthem. And this caused an uproar in the sports community and led to massive protests in the NFL from players, coaches, and owners in many different ways, including players taking a knee during the anthem, which has been going on for a whole year that started with Colin Kaepernick, players linking arms, and players not even showing up and staying in the locker room. For the Here's a quick rundown of what teams and how they protested during week three of the NFL season. The Tennessee Titans, Seattle Seahawks, and Pittsburgh Steelers all stayed in the locker room throughout the national anthem, but with the Pittsburgh Steelers, Army veteran Alejandro Villanueva came out and stood at the edge of the locker room before the national anthem. Many teams locked arms during the national anthem, including the Chicago Bears, the Green Bay Packers, the New York Jets, the Jacksonville Jaguars, the Houston Texans, the New England Patriots, and America's team, the Dallas Cowboys. The last four of those teams, the Jaguars, the Texans, the Patriots, and the Cowboys all have owners who have supported Trump at one time or another. And the Kansas City Chiefs, Oakland Raiders, and Denver Broncos had a majority of their players take a knee during the national anthem. This led to many different reactions from fans. Some positive, like the sports site The Ringer coming out and saying, as a community, the players came together and put the right foot forward. But also there was some... Mm, I'll say negative issues with many fans ripping, breaking, or tearing their sports memorabilia. We are now two and a half months removed from the week three protests and the craziness on both sides has died down a little. But why? I decided to hit the streets of Chicago to see what the people had to say about the NFL protests. You know, I think that um, standing doesn't require, to show respect doesn't require standing. Um, the fact that they were still respectful is up to their own decision how to show that respect. Well, my opinion on it is, I mean, I think it's a good thing and a bad thing because it goes either way. So, for example, for people who are not of race, they think of it differently. They're thinking of it as it's against police, and it's against people like that, and it's not really towards what, like, what it's really about. You know what I mean? So, like, with people are fighting for equality, but other people are thinking it's about, like, you know, the military and stuff like that. There's a lot of things that could be done, and I just think there's a lot of ways you could go about it. I think they're doing it correctly in a certain view, but I just, you know, it's just my opinion. Any sports? especially professional sports, as big as and popular as they are, can be like a vessel uh, to get across, you know, like, uh, or to further political movements. And I think what the players are doing is uh, very important, especially in the political climate that we are in right now. Some players still protest weekly, but it is not on the same level as what happened in week three. And with the NFL creating a plan to donate $100 million to social justice organizations, the end may be near for the protest. But what happened in week three was a show of unity throughout the NFL that we may never see again. And that is why no one will remember what happened on the field during week three. All that will be remembered is the protest.